Hello everybody, this is Lori Anderson, contributor with FreedomOutpost.com. I wanted to bring to you some new information that is going on with the Hammond case. If you have not heard and do not know exactly what case I am referring to, I am going to play uh, part of a video where Eamon Bundy is explaining what is going on, how the out-of-control BLM has even set fires, destroyed personal property, Homes have been set ablaze, cattle have been burned, and the Hammonds are being targeted by the BLM and the federal government and are due to face possible jail time for something that is absolutely an unconstitutional issue. So I'm going to thank Gavin Saeem for posting this on his site. I will leave the link to his video below in the box in the YouTube. Without further ado, I'm going to play this and then let you know how you can help. No matter where you are in the United States of America, we the people are the difference. And with us joining together in this new theme in order to help the Hammonds, if we all stand together, we can make that difference and possibly save Mr. Hammonds life. Hammond Bundy here, uh, trying to keep a smile on my face. This Hammond case really digs deep into the soul and makes you wonder what's going on. Um, I do need to give you a more thorough update and I'll share <coughs> that, showing how the due process was not due process at all. How there was a tremendous amount of corruption in its origin, tremendous amount of corruption um, in the indictment, in the trial, in the sentencing, and then of course the resentencing, and then even now. A couple things that I talked to you about before about the sheriff feeding the information to the FBI that has been confirmed again. Also, uh, the threats that were given to the Hammonds if they continue to communicate with me, uh, they were confirmed that they came from the U.S. Attorney's Office and that his words were that the Hammonds, if they did not speak end communications with Ammon Bundy, that the Hammonds would be detained early and put in a less desirable pr prison, a less desirable prison. You have to understand the Hammonds are preparing to be gone from their family for five years. And Frank Papagni is threatening to shorten that period of time so that they can't prepare their wives to take care of the ranches when they're, the ranch when they're gone. Also, it means to Dwight, who's 74 years old, if he gets thrown into a less desirable prison, uh, he'll probably be abused to the point where he won't live. And so these threats are very real and uh, very intimidating to the Hammonds. Now, I want to show you a video of a rancher that ranches uh, just a couple, a few miles from the Hammonds. Um, and it shows how the BLM cares about the ranchers and cares about the community. This uh, was done in July and the BLM started some fires in July and prescribed fires are not done in July because they have all summer that they need to feed their animals on. And so Basically, the BLM were burning the ranchers' grass, and as the video will show, many other things. I want you to understand also that this video was filmed uh, less than two weeks from the day the Hammonds were sentenced for starting a fire themselves. So here's the issue. We've got uh, 
BLM went in and lit fire along the uh, hillside here by the dump, but there's nobody here. It would be easy with a couple of guys with shovels right now to put this out, and uh, we'd have a good fire break, but when the wind hits it, it's going to carry it right on along the hill and down to French Glen, which is right there. So and if it creeps away from the hill, obviously in the foreground, there's a lot of fuel. So it looks like it's set to burn French Glen, and that's what they said they would do. So here we go. So as you can see, they brought the fire right to us. It was uh, way west last night when the sun went down, it was dying down. Somehow overnight it ended up right here. It's pretty obvious that this is man lit. Well, I'm at Gary's Krells here, and uh, last night, well, nobody's around. They lit the fire right here close to everybody's houses, and we're going to have a hell of a lot of fire come evening. They're not putting it out, they're lighting it. This is a bunch of bullshit, let me tell you. We're standing at the Krells, and them sons of bitches started at the corner of the road where it leaves the pavement, and they're lighting that son of a bitch on fire all the way around it. They're going right down that. I'm standing here, me and John Whitzel, you got a water truck and stuff, and the Gregor's building a fire line, and they're building a the fire all the way around it. Yeah. And it's a flaming. Upwind of us. And yeah, and we're all there. We're smoke coming right out. Well, John's are taking pictures right now, and he said that they told him they're going to torture all the way around to the Sea Bar Sea Road, and Noose Wander's cows are fence cornered up down there right now. Gary lost 11 already. They're just about to burn that outfit up. Nobody's there. They lit the fire and moved right on. This is what they've got lit upwind of us right now. They're putting in a whole line of fire right along that juniper post fence and burning the fence up, number one. But then they're. Somebody ought to get his head rubbed in the gravel out there. They're going to continue right on to the west, sounds like, clear up past Leon's cows. So his cows are going to be wrapped in it here pretty quick. Now they're still lighting, burning fences, power poles, you name it. This is the fire that would endanger French Glen. There's still nobody around. This guy down the road told us he didn't have any resources to put it out. But down the road about two miles beyond the turn out of sight is at least a dozen pumpers sitting there eating snacks and whatnot. I got there determined they're going to burn everybody out. They're lighting it up here again. Got Jimmy and Gary and those guys uh, right downwind of where these guys are lighting fire again. We're heading trying to go help save the corral system and uh, get the bail Jimmy out of trouble. Yeah, he said, I will arrest you. This highway is closed. Got I said, Well, I got to get on the other end of the fire. Where was this? You ain't going, he said. I said, well, we got to get over there because you burned me out down there. Well, so, yeah, this is what we got. Those guys that we just went by upwind, they're lighting it. Have it coming right to us here. We're going to try to spur this down. No place to go with the cow except in the corral. A lot of them are already burnt really bad from them guys lighting them and trapping these cattle in the fire. They trapped a bunch of them last night. And then they went upwind of us here and lit it up. So we're at Gary's Krells. Here's a cow that's been burnt really bad. We got these guys going to light fire up from us again. They don't care where we're at or what's going on, but... So here's what we got.
Well, there goes the house up in smoke that they surrounded with fire earlier. The house is going up, totally caused by BLM. The BLM are being used as terrorists to terrorize citizens of the United States of America. We all know it's part of the land grab that connects with the United Nations. Many people are saying, well, if the blue hats come here, guess what? They're here. We cannot allow this to continue. Our way of life, our people, our humanity, and all will be destroyed. We cannot allow this to stand. The Pete Santilli Show, as well as other individuals, have been trying to get this information out there. On the Pete Santilli Show website, which I will include in the links below in the YouTube, there is uh, the article, Exclusive Amen Bundy Issues, the Fed's Notice on Behalf of Patriots and Notice of Redress of Grievance. This is extremely important. This is something that we, the people from all across the nation, need to join in, because if we do not stand for them, no one is going to be able to stand for us. If we continue to allow them to burn family homes, if we continue to allow them to burn ranches and our cattle, people, you need to understand this is more than just about land. These cattle are being produced for food for people who live within the United States of America. Do you want food? Do you want steak? Do you want that right to be able to choose whether you want steak? This is a threat to our food supply. This is a threat to our people. This is a threat to our children and our grandchildren. And we need every patriot, every individual, whether you consider yourself a patriot or not. If you don't want your home burned by the Bureau of Land Management, then you need to speak out. Because if you do not, then you have no right to be upset when they burn your home. Action needed, action of importance to all people, patriot groups, militias, coalitions, churches, families, and other supporting entities. We hope all of you are having a joyful season in remembering the Lord and the great gift of his birth. Where the spirit of the Lord, there is liberty. 2 Corinthians 3.17 if we felt that we could wait until after Christmas to give you this information, we would. The adversary never sleeps, and we must stay aware and act in these matters of defense. It is our duty to do so. It is, cer it is certain that what has happened to the people of Harney County and the Hammond family is a type of a shadow of what will happen to all people across these United States if we do not put an end to it. We ask that you read the Notice of Redress of Grievance and go to the links below and add your name to the document. Before I go any further, many people will ask me, have you signed this document? I absolutely have signed this document, and I will continue to stand and fight and speak out for every person whose rights are violated, for every person who is being attacked by this unlawful, corrupt, out-of-control mafia government. These are politicians that only care about the resources. They're the politicians that support the globalism, UN Agenda 21, and all they give a rip about is your resources and your land, and they want you dead if need be if you stand in their way. And we must stop it, because if we don't, if we don't, millions of us, 
here in the United States of America, are going to die. If you have not read UN Agenda 21, you need to do so. You really do. They want to eliminate what is called sprawl. Sprawl is us, we the people, because we don't fit into their elite little scheme of things. 90% of the world's population they want to destroy and kill, and they are not playing. And it is time for us to stop playing around and stop playing these games and stop being complacent with this tyranny and these people who need to be in jail, incarcerated, and tried for high treason and crimes against humanity. I do not care if you work for BLM, which, by the way, is limited to that 10-mile square, which is the District of Columbia, according to 4 U.S. Code 72, and Article 1, Section 8, Clause 17 of the United States Constitution. They have no authority to do what they are doing. They are doing this without authority, and they are terrorizing the people, and this must stop. We the people, united individuals of these states, united, Coalition of the Western States, or COWS, Pacific Patriot Network, PPN, Bundy Family and Supporters, Oregon Oath Keepers, Idaho 3%, Central Oregon Constitutional Guard, Oregon Tactical, Oregon Bearded Bastards, Liberty Watch, Washington, Nevada Committee for Full Statehood, Royal Heritage Preservation Project, Liberty for All, or LFA, and continuous names below. Notice of the redress of grievance. Notice to agent is notice to principal. Notice to principal is notice to agent. In other words, they're being put on notice. Sheriff David Ward, Commissioner Dan Nichols, Commissioner Pete Runnels, Justice of the Peace Donna Thomas, District Attorney Tim Cullen, Attorney General Ellen Rosen, Rosenblum, and Governor Kate Brown. Dear sirs, after extensive research on the Hammond case, we, the people of these states, united, have reason to believe that Dwight and Stephen Hammond were not afforded their rights to due process as protected by the United States Constitution. We have principled evidence that Dwight and Stephen Hammond committed no crime in the act of performing the prescribed burn and backfire, that the U.S. government does not have authority to enforce territorial law under Article 4 within the state of Oregon and that the county of Hain Harney and the state of Oregon failed to protect the Hammonds' rights as guaranteed by the U.S. Constitution, USC 42-1986-18242-18121-42-1983-42-1985. and 42-1985. We hold compelling evidence that the United States government abused the federal court system situating the Hammond family into duress as effort to force the Hammonds to sell their Steen Mountain property to a federal agency. Well, of course, nothing like trying to burn them out in order to be able and uh, intimidate and coerce with jail and prison in order to be able to gain what you want because that's what the corrupt elite do, right? We have substantial evidence that the U.S. Attorney's Office exploited an act of Congress imposing cruel and unusual punishment upon residents of Harney County. We hold substantial evidence that inside the borders of Harney County, the U.S. government is acting outside the authority enumerated in the Constitution of the United States. We secure evidence that the United States Attorney's Office independently prepared the indictment against Dwight and Stephen Hammond, and that the grand jury did not properly assemble or investigate before the indictment. We have no evidence to believe that the grand jury participated in the indictment altogether. We have sure evidence that the United States Congress does not have authority to legislate minimum sentences requiring Dwight and Stephen Hammond to serve five years in a federal penitentiary. We hold confirming video evidence of federal agents exhibiting a culture of intimidation toward individuals and businesses within the borders of Harney County. That federal agent by fire destroyed private property and that the Hammond family are being denied the same protection of laws that are enjoyed by the federal agents. We have supporting evidence that Judge Hogan controlled the narrative and did not allow full disclosure in the courtroom. We have additional evidence that Dwight and Stephen Hammond were sentenced for something different than what they were found guilty of. 
We hold sounding evidence that Dwight and Stephen Hammond are victims of cruel and unusual punishment and that the United States Justice Department is violating the Eighth Amendment. We hold sure evidence that Dwight and Stephen Hammond are being subject for the same offense put twice in jeopardy, including that the Ninth District Court of Appeals violated the Fifth Amendment. We have obtained appalling evidence that the U.S. Attorney's Office threatened the Hammond family with early detention and further punishment if the Hammond family continued to communicate with certain individual. This evidence foundational speaks against the United States Attorney's Office in their gross effort to infringe upon the Hammond's right to free exercise of speech, the First Amendment, and 18 U.S. 242 U.S.C. That also uh, violates the First Amendment right of right of assembly. In a commitment to expose the truth and administrative justice, we, the people of these states, united, insist that you immediately assemble an independent evidential hearing board, or EHB, comprised of the people of Hardin County in accordance with common law principles, that the evidence hearing board call witnesses and investigate each of these allegations publicly, that the evidential hearing board make public conclusions and writing upon their findings, that the Haney County Board of Commissioners and Sheriff's Department enforce the conclusions of the evidential hearing board in support of the United States Constitution. We further insist that the Hammonds family be protected from reporting to federal prison until all allegations can be determined. We need not remind you of your lawful duty to act on these matters as insisted, nor of the consequences if you knowingly neglected your duty. USC 182382182071182076421983421986 respectively we the people united individuals of these states united so if you support this notice and redress of grievances then please fill in the name card below and what I am going to do, this is what your name card looks like. I am obviously going to leave links in the description box below. This is imperative that we sign this. We cannot allow this. This is terrorism by government. And most people, you think of the terrorism today and each and everything, but you need to realize terrorism is an act in which is too enforce a political change their way. It is not an act of an individual. This is done by government. Stop allowing them to intimidate our people. Help get this viral. Help get this petition viral. I would love to see at least a million signatures on this. We the people must do this because we the people, we are the government. They are our employees. They are our servants, and let's remind them of such. Until next time, God bless you. Semper Fidelis.